With the unveiling of iOS 12 at Apple's WWDC, Craig Federighi mentioned their focus on performance with this new OS update. They made some big speed improvement claims, such as some apps launching twice as fast and CPU ramp up speed increasing across not just older devices, but also newer ones as well. Typically, with each new iOS release, Apple drops the oldest generation devices, but not this year. If your device supports iOS 11, that means you'll be able to run iOS 12. That's going all the way back to the iPhone 5S and iPad Mini 2. We pitted Apple's flagship running iOS 11 against one running the first developer beta of iOS 12, but for this one, we wanted to see how much of an improvement we'll get with older devices. We don't own a 5S, which is the oldest iPhone that's going to support iOS 12, so for this test, we used the iPhone 6 along with the oldest tablet to support iOS 12, which is the iPad Mini 2. The Mini 2 does use the same A7 processor as the 5S, so that could be an indication of performance improvements. Launching the iPad Mini 2, iOS 12 launches about 2 seconds quicker. iOS 12 brings this tablet some new life. It's much smoother and more responsive compared to iOS 11, which is much glitchier and has a little bit of stuttering. Opening up the camera app, the speeds are right about the same. Launching Geekbench 4 took about the same amount of time, and we started off with the CPU test. The results were quite similar with iOS 12 slightly ahead in the multi-core score, but not enough to make a difference. The graphics score was also very close at a very low 591 with iOS 12. The first game we tested was Angry Birds 2 and it actually launched 12 seconds faster. The next game was Pokemon Go which took about the same amount of time which was a shocking 39 seconds. Asphalt 8 was our last game, which did take about the same amount of time, but we do see a little bit more responsiveness with iOS 12 as soon as we hit the icon. Opening up the news app, we see this once more where the app starts to launch right away, which could be that CPU ramp up speed. Oddly enough, the app actually finishes opening first with iOS 11. Next we have books, which opens up about a second quicker with iOS 12. Moving on to our own Apple Insider app, iOS 12 finishes the task about a second quicker. The same thing goes for Amazon Prime Video. Google Drive once again starts opening quicker with iOS 12 and opens about one second faster. The same goes for the YouTube app, which is about a second quicker at launching. The TV app takes five seconds longer with iOS 11. To compare the RAM management, we relaunched each app hoping that iOS 12 would keep more apps open in the background, but both OS had to reload Pokemon Go. Moving on to the iPhone 6, the phone launched 6 seconds quicker with iOS 11.4. As far as responsiveness, iOS 12 was slightly smoother, but it wasn't as big of a difference as with the iPad Mini 2. The camera app was only slightly quicker with iOS 12. Tapping Geekbench 4, it started loading slightly faster with iOS 11, and our CPU and GPU scores were almost the same. Angry Birds launched 11 seconds faster with iOS 12. Tapping Pokemon Go, the app started loading almost instantly with iOS 12, whereas with iOS 11, I almost thought that I didn't hit it because of the delay. But in the end, iOS 11 finished first. Asphalt 8 launched about 4 seconds faster under iOS 11. News was about 3 seconds faster under iOS 11. Books was a little bit faster under iOS 11.4. Apple Insider also was slightly faster, but not a big difference. Finally, with Prime Video, iOS 12 was about 1 second ahead. Google Drive was also slightly faster with iOS 12, but not a big difference. The same thing goes for the YouTube app. The App Store was a few seconds faster under iOS 11. And interestingly, the TV app was 5 seconds faster to launch with iOS 12. So the results were a bit mixed with our iPhone 6, but very impressive with our iPad Mini 2. Keep in mind that this is the first beta release and performance typically improves leading up to the official release. This iOS 12 beta breathed new life into our iPad, which was almost unbearable to use under iOS 11. If you're someone with an older iOS device, this is great news, and we applaud Apple for its focus on performance and not dropping compatibility on older devices. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.